All right, we got a lot of extra excitement we had counted on for our show today. So I want you to... Looking good for a show. Shh, be quiet. Out there in TV land, that well, is I hope when I come up, I look as good as you do. Hey, you there, look fine. Just shut up and relax. Relax when Sean's on to be watching. Well, it's too late to turn back right, now. Right Here it comes. You're going to go on the treasure hunt of your life. Strange situation happened this week. A fella came into the station, and uh, he had a great story. And, well, every word of it's true. Josh, you want to wanna help us out with it a little? Sure. Uh, a fellow wandered into the uh, studio and claimed that he was scuba diving in Port Charles Harbor. He found some interesting jewelry. Well, naturally, we thought he was putting us on. Well, we did, until he uh, showed us this. Right. Can you get a, let's get a close-up of that, please? There it is. Looks like the real thing you recognize that. What this guy, uh, yeah, kind of said. I recognize well, that. Oh, he's an Aztec necklace that's still with my safe way. along with a bracelet and the Aztec well, crown. We thought he was sincere, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Makes you know where part of the treasure is. Did he say, uh... Yeah, but what I really have to know is what Frisco's game plan is. Jewelry, I think. Is it's going yeah. solo yeah. or somebody yeah. else is in on it. He wants us to show find out what his game plan is before Robert does. able to describe the piece which he came from. So if anyone does recognize this pendant, please contact the studio. Yeah, call or write or right. come on down. If it belongs to you, we'd love to hear from you, and we'd love to get it back to the rightful owner. Okay, thanks a lot, Josh. Thanks for that. Damn. Obviously trying to smoke out the treasure hunter. That pendant was part of the treasure. Are you certain? Certain. Donnie described it to me. What? What's Frisco doing? What sort of a game is he up to here? I don't Can any of this stuff about a scuba diver, can that be true? I don't know. But I better find out before Frisco winds up as a fish bait tomorrow. Meet you. Hello. Keep it coming. Yeah, you're calling about the jewelry? Right. Yeah. What? No, uh -huh. no we're not no, interested we're in buying no, old jewelry. Sorry. Right. sorry. The announcement did not say that at all. R right, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, he's on. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you. Well, we try to do the best we can for the public in Port Charles. Unfortunately, that is okay. the main question was time. Right. Yes. What? Okay. Uh, no, oh, really? Uh -huh. But thank yeah. you for calling. Mm -hmm. what, well, I, you yes, I realize it? that you know what it looks like. I showed it uh -huh. on television, oh. on air, right. You think yeah, right, right in the camera. Exactly. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you're the rightful owner, will you just describe some of the pieces, please? Thank you. I see. Hello. Diamonds or oh, anything else? Yeah. Rubies and emeralds. Jewelry. Right. Oh, and sapphires. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay. Jewel, Tell me something, okay? Were these uh, jewels, or were they on a necklace, or were they in a ring, or... Uh-huh. Oh, I see. They were just loose. No. Well, I, I appreciate you calling, and I suggest you go down to your neighborhood bar and think about it for a few hours, okay? Thank you. Cool with the call. But the phones are ringing. Just let Marge take them down at the uh, reception desk, okay? All right. Commissioner, I had a feeling you'd stop by. How can I help you? We'll make this short and sweet, Frisco. I want all the jewels you now have in your possession. Well, I don't have any jewels in my possession. I'm going to make a demand on you that you will turn over all jewelry items currently in your possession. Will you comply with that demand? I can't. Don't make me arrest you, because I surely will. All I have is the pendant that I showed on air, Robert. And you said there was more. Well, there is. Then I want it all, and I want it right now. Sorry, it's not here. Where is it? I don't know. You don't know? What about this person that turned this stuff over you, this so-called scuba diver? Well, he took the jewelry with him, and what he left was the pendant that I showed on air. What's his name? I don't know. What's his address? Let me guess. You don't know that either. Mm-mm. You know, he refused to give it to me. Then how are you planning on returning all this stuff to its rightful owner? Well, the scuba diver said he'd call. I'll give it to you, kid. You got guts. Never have I heard a greater case of outrageous lying in all my life. But I'll tell you, if you expect me to believe this, you got another thing coming. I'm telling you the truth, Robert. That's all that I know. Yeah. Maybe a few nights in the slammer will jog your memory. Ask me anything you like. Did you steal the jewelry out of someone's sight, maybe? Of course not. You sure? Robert, what do I know about breaking into a safe? I'm telling you, a scuba diver was diving in the Port Charles Harbor, and he found this jewelry at, at the bottom, kind of like a sunken treasure. And he's going to call you back to find out whether the show turned up the rightful owner. Well, if anybody calls and can give an accurate description 
of the jewelry. That's really what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to find the, the rightful... You know, Commissioner, could you help me? Could you give me an accurate description of the jewelry? I'm running out of patience with Look, you. Look, uh, Robert, can I get in on this? Why not? Do you mind? Felicia, I know that you don't belong in a mess like this. Could you get your friend to tell us the truth? Well, what makes you so sure he isn't telling the truth? Oh, well, if he is, then why won't you tell us more about the scuba diver? The one that he can't remember the name and address of. Mm, that's right. Such a shame. Uh, perhaps you could describe him for us. Um, Josh! Hey, Josh! You, there you are. Yeah, hey, buddy, I wonder if you could help me out now. We're going to describe the guy. What was he? He was uh, a scuba diver, right? And he was about yeah. a young kid, actually. Yeah, well, right. between Josh's yeah. age and my age, take it for what it is. <clears throat> Is that right? That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. All right, the little charade's over. I'm putting you all on notice. In the future, you come up with the information, you give it to me personally. I don't want to have to come after you. And before I leave, I'll put one more thought in your mind to think long and hard about. What's that, Robert? You're in over your head, all of you. What, what do I do this Josh, why? Josh, you know go what? check okay. with Marge at the switchboard and see if the calls are still coming in. Okay, right, just go, will you? Are you okay, babe? Okay, of course not. Robert scared me. He wasn't kidding. Well, neither am I. But so he threatened to arrest you. Shh. Oh, my world is open. I have more things to worry about right now, okay? Like getting the jewels in a safe place. What does that involve? Well, it involves finding a better place to hide him, for one thing. Where? Well, for your... Your place. If it's cool with you, I mean, I can't find a better place. All right, if you must. But I really think you should turn him into Robert. Are you crazy? No way! Frisco, you're using the treasure as bait. And you're gonna wind up in the trap. Scorpio's trap? Maybe I will, yeah. You aren't sure you can trust Robert. As a matter of fact, you probably think you can. Sean and Robert both saved Tony's life. Have you forgotten that? That's it's too neat. It's too pat, Felicia. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Think back, okay? The shot comes through Kelly's door. Robert jumps on, on Tony and covers him. Donnelly immediately reacts. He splits. And he finds Slater, right? Everything works out perfectly. Great teamwork, don't you think? Uh, think about something else, too. What? Donnelly shot Slater. Why the hell would he shoot him? He found him, right? Why wouldn't he bring him back? He was afraid Slater was gonna nail him. Put the finger on him, that's right. Uh, I don't trust those guys. It's me and you, baby. All the way to the end, alone. Sean may be a lot of things, but he is no fool. You just let me worry about Donnelly, all right? <laughs> <laughs> 